So we left Gentle Annie and twisted and turned over the Karamea Bluff to the beginning of the west coast, Ko Hai Hai Dock campsite in the Kahurangi National Park, where the heavy track starts. It was a beautiful drive with plenty of great scenery and even a couple of places for the caravan to pull over and take in the sights. The township of Karamea is at the northernmost tip of the west coast. The district is a haven of rainforest, sea, limestone caves and whisky coloured rivers. Thankfully it also boasts a four square rubbish and recycling and a fuel station. Well, the West Coast just keeps giving and giving. What an amazing place. Look at this. Incredible. bad view from our front lounge. Chop of the sea, but you also some beautiful forests. Oh, and a drone. <laughs> beautiful views everywhere you look. It's absolutely incredible. Look at that. Cool facilities here. There's uh, barbecue areas, uh, there's toilet facilities, so really good. Swimming's not really recommended here on this rough coast. Well, wouldn't it be good to see some seals and penguins? Uh, but I'm the anti penguin dolphin seal whisperer, so we won't be seeing anything. I really cannot believe we live here, eh, Greg? It's just incredible. Oh, I know. Uh, what right. are we about to do? Uh, we're just going to do the heavy trek. What, the whole lot? Uh, a portion of the heavy trip, <laughs> yeah. Not sure how much. We'll no. Hopefully over to the next bay round, which is Scott's Beach. Yeah. That'd be cool. 30 minute-ish, we'll see. So you can actually mountain bike over the heavy track, but it's recommended uh, no e-bikes, because obviously something happens in the middle and you run out of power, there's nowhere to charge them, and then you'll be pretty stuck. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're just going to do a little bit of a walk. <laughs> No dogs, so Holly gets off scot free, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she could handle doing it anyway, could she? Yeah. Didn't even know whether I could handle doing it, but we'll see. This is a good day, yes, I need to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within So what do you think of that, Greg? That was good. 
I did notice it was quite a bit of uphill, but you do get that when you go to a lookout, don't well, you? Well, you do, yeah. Scott's Hill sort of really gave it away a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Um, now, we don't profess to be hikers by any means, but that was quite a nice little walk, wasn't it? Was it? Good, yeah. Doc have done a great job of keeping the tracks. Yeah, so I hope they don't good. disestablish too many people in Doc because yeah. they're doing a marvellous job. We met about six bikes, didn't we? Yep. Yep. Yep, six bikes coming in. And another way. couple yeah. of walkers yeah. that passed us because we were going too slow. <laughs> yeah. But um, this is a look out here. So apparently you can bring your tent and camp here. Obviously no <laughs> caravans because you wouldn't be able to get through the track. But yeah, we just did the part of the Heafy track to get here. So it's sort of, the beach is right below. So it'd be quite a nice place to, uh, to camp. So since we're doing keto, uh, we couldn't bring beers and um, yummy snacks. So we've got water and a few nuts. <laughs> Not another soul on this beach, just us. <laughs> oh, that was a good spot to stop, wasn't it? The beach. Oh, yeah, very nice. No one else on there. No. I feel pretty special. <laughs> um, can't believe we live in such a beautiful place. Though. It's just, oh, it's absolutely awesome. We don't actually live here. We're just parked here, remember? Oh, we don't live here. We're parked here, but we live in New Zealand. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We're going to do the Nikau walk on the way back. So. I assume we're going to see some Nikau, which will be really good. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Didn't take long, did it? Wow. Pretty cool. Fronds are huge. I don't think I'd like to be underneath them when one falls. Mm. Freaky, really. I feel like I'm on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I'm Ginger. Oh, which one are you? Oh, you're Gilligan. <laughs> well, something's got to give today. It's a good day today. Going out to the Opara Basin, where we're going to walk to the arches. The road in is 16 kilometres of, shall we say, uh, what shall we say the road's like, Greg? It's a very windy, narrow road where you're just worried about meeting someone coming out of the way. We've met a couple of cars that managed yeah. to get through. Yeah. Um, there is actually a guided tour coming up here, so yeah. you can pay to come up here. I'm not too sure of the price, I'll check that up on that. But um, that might be the way to go if uh, you don't really want to drive this uh, this very uh, old New Zealand road. Yes, <laughs> yes. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even the sky is falling down Whoa Look, Look at, at the colour I know 
Why is it that colour, Sandy? Well, apparently it's a tannins from all the, the foliage, you know, all the plants around. Oh, yeah. So it's really just like dunking a tea bag in hot water. Oh, no. <laughs> so safe enough to swim in and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But just that colour, look at it. A lot of tea bags. Of, yeah, a lot of tea bags that have put you off a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Super clear, though, you can yeah. see that. I really want to know, really want to know. If I... Here we are at the Oparara Arch. It goes right over there. Oh, look at this. I can't really see. You can see I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head. So we found a bit of a side path going more by the river, so we're actually hoping it's gonna meet up with the main path, otherwise we have to walk all the way back. But it's not quite as well kept as the other path, but we're going okay. This is actually really, really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it was only a K in and a K out, obviously. Uh, yeah. 15 minutes each way. Yeah. A couple of uh, pilly bits. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah nice, easy track, well maintained. It is. Yeah, isn't it must do, I reckon. Definitely, yeah. Beautiful sights to see around every corner. Yeah. Down in a bit of a cave. Greg's going first because he's got the. I've got the, the mining light. light here. He's got the mining light. And those stairs, and yes, they were a bit scary. There's a chain there, so you can hold, which is good. Then you come under this. And, oh, wow. It's like you're on Mars or something. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow, this is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Really is another world. So we're actually the only ones here. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. A little bit spooky, but it's kind of cool. And here we have one of the South Island's few remaining cave explorers. Mrs. Sandy Corbett as she treks off into the unknown where nobody, well, nobody in a couple of million tourists have not been before. we go mining and visit a little bit more of the west coast thanks for watching see you out there